Okay, so short answer, yes. It's probably yours. If you received it during marriage as a gift or an inheritance to you and only you, not to your spouse as well, then it is your separate property and you will not need to pay your spouse for any interest in that piece of art. But what I'd like to do now is just give you a, a little bit of an overview of community property versus separate property. First of all, generally speaking, any property or earnings that you receive during your marriage, that's from date of marriage to date of separation, is community property. So for example, even if you kept your finances totally separate from your spouse, and even if you filed separate tax returns, whatever you earned or whatever you saved from employment, for example, is community property. If you put money, you contributed to a retirement account, then the portion of the retirement account that you contributed to during marriage is community and either needs to be divided or the two of you need to come to some sort of other agreement. Um, the same goes with debts. So if you're, you or your spouse accrued some credit card debt during the marriage uh, for ordinary purposes like buying clothes or traveling, uh, then that debt is community and it's a joint debt that belongs to both of you even if one of you is not the authorized user on the other's credit card. There are some exceptions. So first of all, there's the exception of student loans. If you're in a short-term marriage and one of you accrued some student loans, then likely, not always, but usually those student loans will be assigned without offset to the spouse who uh, incurred them. Secondly, there is separate property. And what separate property is, unless you have a prenuptial agreement, like a premarital agreement or a postmarital agreement, then separate property is defined as the property that you received either before you got married, after you separated, or during your marriage by gift or inheritance. So uh, for example, if you received $100,000 as an inheritance during your marriage, and you put that money into a separate account, you did not commingle it with your spouse's funds or with your employment earnings, that 100,000 stayed in a separate account and it grew, then you, then that account is yours and yours alone. That's your separate property. It gets a little trickier if you commingled, meaning if you put your own earnings or your spouse's earnings into that account, then you're going to need to trace your separate property interest, which is usually possible, but not always. So I think that that gives you a good idea about what uh, separate versus community property is. If you have more questions about it, we have loads of resources on hellodivorce.com. I hope you'll check it out.